today we're going to be doing a walk around and test drive on the super slick 1969 Chevelle convertible. Chad just drove this thing up the road while I was standing out here and I'm like, oh my god, that thing looks badass going down the road. Why don't we do that quick? Yeah. Go ahead, hop in there. Change it up a little bit. It's got a great dual exhaust rumble to it too. can't help himself. I knew you couldn't help yourself with getting on it just a little bit. It's a comfortable car, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, great looking color. The paint on this car is excellent. I mean, I'm guessing it was done a few years, you know, three to five years ago, and the paint is super, like you said, super slick. Um, you look up and down the sides, it's got a laser straight body, beautiful paint in the door jams, really nice chrome. I mean, all in all, this car is fantastic. Just shelves right in there, dude. Um, as we go to the, like I said, I want to point out just a little bit here. Um, hood insulation. You were going so damn fast, the hood insulation came out of there. It was falling, man. Uh, they did a really nice job on the bottom of the hood too. I mean, they painted things correctly as it should be. Really nice running big block, power steering, power brakes, uh, inner fenders are painted beautifully as well. Nice radiator, keeping it cool with the fan shroud. Oh, just, a, just the right touch of chrome on top of that engine to set this car off. And it steers and brakes really well. The power steering works great and the brakes are good. What's the, what's the original color on that car? <laughs> All right, original color is 52B, um, black top. So 52 is the original color on it. Uh, probably, probably guessing this was just your typical Chevelle convertible uh, with the Super Sport uh, emblems and stuff on it now and hood, but uh, not positive on that. In 69, you just can't tell, you guys. If you go to our website, check out our undercarriage photos, coyoteclassics.com. There's probably about 20 on there. It's a very solid car. This is a cool muscle car, you guys. Yeah, great sound and exhaust. Sounded good when you took off, too. Door shuts nice, and look at the corner of that door. Um, we'll get to that in just a little bit, but that corner of that door lines up perfectly with that quarter panel. So whoever did the paint body on this car really did a nice job. Beautiful local car show quality car with an excellent shine. I did notice on it, the hood right here sticks up just a skosh, and there's a striker there that can be adjusted, and so you can adjust that down easily. You tried to do it with too small a screwdriver, yeah. just right before the pictures here, guys. Also, um, we have the, uh, somebody thought it'd be cool to have the SS396 emblem that was on the grill when it was when it first came in the first day. So, so anyway, took so, it off the lot. I think they did. So we got a brand new one here for it as well. So front bumper, grill, is absolutely gorgeous on it. Headlight trim rings are original. There's a tiny little chip right here on the top of the fender. Other than that, the paint on the hood and the top of the fender is absolutely gorgeous. It's got that super sport hood. Uh, windshield's been replaced. It's got the antenna in the windshield and all the stainless and chrome around the windshield really is in nice shape. Um, we talk gaps on this car. Doors and the fenders on this car, in my opinion, are awesome. So it's got an excellent gap. Lower fender, 
lower uh, door. Again, this corner of the door fits in there perfectly as well. Um, front of the quarter is excellent. It's got just the right tire and wheel combination. It's got 215, uh, 65 15s on the front on those SS rims. What a straight body too. 255 60s on the back. Yeah, both sides are both sides are pretty much laser straight. It's a great looking car. Back bumper has been replaced. That's an excellent shape. Also the the chrome and tail lights and stuff, that's all been replaced as well. Just so we've got some chips along the um, black here. Right on the very bottom needs to be touched up a little bit. Uh, trunk lid's nice. Trunk lid fits nice as well. Top of the trunk lid to the top of the quarter and all around works nice. It's got a black top. Top's in good shape. Uh, black uh, bucket seat console interior. In the bottom of the trunk lid, bottom of the hood, door jams, all the paint still looks wet on this car, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Even the door jams, I mean, it's just super shiny. You can tell they had the fenders off when they repainted it. Um, door panels are in excellent shape, armrest, base, pad is good. When they did it, they looks like they put new uh, door rubbers in, in there as well. The uh, dash pad's good. Um, paint on the dash has a few little scratches. It's original. It's got the SS steering wheel, which is in excellent shape. It does have tilt wheel, which is awful nice for a convertible. Uh, manual top, though. So manual top, tilt wheel, power steering, power brakes. Buckets, console. Uh, one other thing I want to talk about with the top. One, you know, one hand, one guy can put it right up and down. So not hard at all. Uh, bucket seats are in great shape. One thing. Uh, this car still has a couple little things that the next owner can do. Um, with these chrome pieces here, 88 bucks for the pair. Um, that just goes right on there. That's something the next guy can do. Also a little chrome knob here. A couple things that, uh, that the car still could use to really take it to that little next level. But I don't really see anything tacky on it at all. This well-built car. We've had a few 70s Chevelle convertibles recently, but I don't remember the last time we had a 69. I don't know if we ever have. There's a light scratch right here. Hopefully that could buff out. It's just a real light scratch. Other than that, the paint is gorgeous. No bubbles, no blisters. Get my shadow out of the way. In at Coyote Classics, we always try to show the bottoms of the cars. I mean, that's where the problems are, if they have them. Back of the hood lines up really nice. The top of the fender, top of the door. That's a great car. Other than your like little minor chip and stuff like in, in some of the jams, that's pretty much all I've seen on this car. Yeah, in perfection. Fantastic. Too. It does have disc brakes in the front. They look like they've been pretty new as well. Um, little chip right here, very tiny. When the Restore did it, they put all the correct bumper, rubber bumpers on it. And, The ashtrays in the. It's funny back in the day, man. Everyone smoked marbles. Everyone was yeah. smoking, dude. You had ashtrays coming out of every freaking front, back. Everyone had to have a cigarette burning, right? Yeah, isn't that funny? Um, both seats are perfect. So there's no tears, no um, issues anywhere besides that chrome that should be replaced. But uh, seats are in great shape, front and back. It's got the GM seat belts retractable in the front, three in the back. Nice boot cover. Yep. Um, these have all been replaced as well as far as our felts and stuff. Windows all go up and down nice. Funny, I know when it came in the horn. One other thing I want to point out, um, the uh, kick, panel? kick panels are in good shape and they have the, uh, you know, the air and stuff. That, that all opens up to get a little fresh air. Oh, there you go. Haven't been open for a while. I think it starts easy. I like this car a lot. I knew you would. You never go with it. Uh huh. Yourself to a sweet new ride. It's Halloween. Not the best radio in the world. Probably couldn't be redone. 
kind of ticked off because they know the hard work there. I know, that's what I thought too. I was going to honk at you, but we're not going to know. Anyway, maybe a few years or so. Like I said, that's. Wipers work. I do have a fuel sending unit coming for it. Perfect. Uh, gas gauge, we've tested it. That's all it is. A lot of times those sending units just kind of go bad. Good. I'm gonna keep that going too. The cool meter that they like today on the top down. Mm -hmm. It's deceiving. It looks beautiful and warm out. Spoil pressure is at 40 pounds in gear. That's what that little whining was too. It must have been a, I heard this high pitch whine. It's just like when I started that year, man. It works on all the static suits, and sometimes they only work on higher level. Groovy mirror, that looks like that's been replaced as well. This thing's touching. Yeah, it is. It's got some balls. Didn't mean to do that. It's a comfortable ride, yeah. And that red with the white stripe just looks. It's I like that one. Just put her in drive and go, boys. Fix up speed, awesome. 16 feet. Fun, this one. Yeah, it is. It wants to go. For a drop top, you know, uh, whether this is a real super sport or not, who cares? The big block is easily 400 hours. Yeah. Um, and and awesome. most of these 69 Chevelles, you can't, you know, you can't, can't prove, prove it, it anyway. No, you can't. Look how this thing goes down the road. This is what I love about the nice cars that we're selling at Coyote Classics. I mean, the steering wheels are perfectly straight. So many other times we get some of these cars in and they're just all kitty wampus. I mean, there's a big difference in cars, you guys. You know, uh, check things out. Really, when you buy a car, really look into, watch these videos, see how they drive, or go inspect them. Yourself, you know, yeah. There's so much crap out there for sale. It really is. Yeah, it's hard to kind of sift through it. It is, you can't just look off a couple of pictures and check things out. This thing's a nice car, though, I like it. to cruise it normal like you said it, and it's not uh, the rear end gears aren't super high I mean it's nice and quiet going down the road but if you just want to cruise it as a Sunday cruiser it'll do that too yeah we're going 55 mile an hour right now just enjoy the sun I'm freezing my ass off and I'm still loving the ride in this car how can you be freezing your ass off in that freaking big pull I know I am though it's a little chilly today but I wouldn't trade it alright Really nice Chevelle. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you next video.